Welcome to my another video and this video is all about the REST API. So in this video we are going to learn the concepts behind the scenes and use case of this REST API. I know some of you guys have already heard about the REST API but you just want to crystal clear about this REST API. I know some of you guys are already creating the REST API but they don't know the concepts. So the concept is very important for programmers. Let me tell you just a story. A guy go for the interview and interviewer ask of any technologies. That guy is creating that technologies in every day, but they don't know the concept. So this is the reason why interviewer failed him to come in later interview. So the concept is very important. The base thing is very important because on the base part, every blocks has written on it. So once you will understand the base, you are going to easily understand all the blocks of that base. So let's just start. What is API? API is an application programming interface which has the stands for of API and how an API works basically. So in the earlier time what was happening basically if you are creating a software so you will have to code the client side and the backend side and the DevOps side in a particular software only. But now a days what is happening you just create an API you create different softwares in the client side you create project in the backend side with a different language. So how this client and server talks to each other? The link, the bridge is the REST API. So the API is the interface which talks to every software from the client side, from the backend side, from the mobile device, from the other devices. So let me just give an example. As you can see, this is the client API which talks to the server through the REST API. Let me give an example. In the server, there is a database and database carries all the informations. So how we, we are going to provide these informations to the client side or any user. So as we know, the API is the medium which takes the information from the server and it provides to the client side. But sometimes what happens basically, the database informations are tot totally secure. So if the client is not authorized to the, take the information from the server side, they have to provide some credentials like username, password or the secret API or the secret any key. So from the backend side, we build their API. We give the information to the API that if someone comes to you and ask for information from the database, you just have to ask the secret key or the username or the password. So client, so the client applications comes to the API. API asks for the username or pass password or the authentication key. Applications give the authentication key to the API and then API check whether this information is right or not. If the information is right, then it will talk to the server. It will take the information from the, from the database and it will give to the app client applications. If the authorization is not right, then API is going to throw the message to the client that you are unauthorized. And the same thing happens with the server as well. Server take the information and it gives to the client applications. As you can see here, this is the graph application client request for the data information from the server, which is through the API request. Data server checks all the informations and it gives to the API response, which is provided to the client. I hope you guys understood a little bit about this. Let's clear this in a more way. As you can see, this is the diagram. So what happens? So the API, how API talks basically? API talks with the HTTP or the HTTPS protocol. Now let's suppose if a user comes to a website, which writes HTTP is to slash slash www dot anything dot com. He asks the information from this API. This API request to, goes to the web server. Web server checks this user is authorized or not. If this user is authorized with, with his authentications or her authentications, then this web, web server is take the information and gives to the client. That is hello world. And as you can see, this is the bridge. This is bridge actually the API. It's the API which handles by the HTTP protocol. Now let's suppose if you are clicking on the facebook.com, what happens? Facebook asks you the username and password. If you won't provide any username and password, then that is not going to provide you the informations. 
So the API, how it works, you have to authenticate that API, then take the information from the web, web server and it gives you to the client side. There are types of API. The first one is the SOAP API. The second one is the XAML RPC. Third one is the JSON RPC. And the fourth one is the REST API. So the REST API is a method which is used for the web services and it consumes all the informations in a particular format. The particular format can be anything. It can be JSON, it can be XML, it can be protobuf. Now let's suppose we have built the backend side of any project and if a client wants to talk to the backend, if you're creating any frontend project like in the React or the Angular, so you have to take this, that API and you have to give the right information, then only this API is going to talk to the server. We are going to see some of the fake APIs and we are going to see what the API consumes the information. So I have just went to JSON placeholder type code dot com. If you'll get down, if you'll scroll it down, you can see there are a lot of the APIs are available here. If I click on this post, you can, you can see this post is having all these informations with user ID title body. So the what client takes, it takes all the informations from this API and it creates with a cool interface with all these informations. So this is an API. Let me just hit it to the postman. You can see this is the postman. I'm going to hit that API in here and we'll see what is what it gives us the data. You can see here, this is the API which I have copied from JSON placeholder and I'm going to send it. You can see here, this API consumes these informations and client side takes this informations and build it in the better user interface. I hope guys you have cleared about this concept like how API works basically and API consumes all the informations and it gives to the client side. And there are also different type of APIs are there as I already provided you in the details in the previous uh, section. So there are kind of APIs like Google APIs, Facebook APIs, the GitHub APIs and many more APIs are available. So now, now let's suppose you are building an application which requires the Google authentications from the Google, then if the user comes to the, if the user comes to your application, you ask for the login method. So user have the options, either they can fill all the informations with the username, first name, last name and everything, or, or either he or she can click on the Google authentications, which takes the information from the Google, how you are going to create it. You take the APS from the Google, you code something in your project from the client side, if the user comes, user will click on the Google authentication. It jump to the Google website and it asks somebody is asking your details like first name, last name, and many more details. Wants you to authorized you. If you click, if users click on yes, then it takes the information from the database. It provides to your application and you can automatically log in from the Google authentication. You don't have to provide the much information like first name, last name, or the username and, and everything. It just create automatically. So how this API works basically. So API consumes all the informations. We take these informations. We build in a react in a angular. We give the good in user interface to the users with all these informations. It can be in the any formats. As you can see, these informations are in the JSON format. It could be in any format like XAML or the protobuf. So the different formats are available here. I think you guys have cleared about this, the REST API. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much.